Yes guys, I'm back on the channel with another location and uh, now we're currently in Style Village as you can see by the sign here and I've just passed a couple of big houses mate, like mansions um, yeah, and obviously we've got our original stonework over here look, as we go across See, as you can see here got to be careful, I'm on a major lane and there's a lot of cars keep passing by and we just passed the care home at the top there it was a bit interested in what the building was it turns out it was a um turns out it was a care home guys for the elderly with dementia and other mental disorders so yeah we've just been there now and um got a few got a few strange looks off a few of the carers because they're probably wondering what i was doing there but um this whole time now i've just got lost obviously i've just been in hanforth um and they've just ended up in a uh in a merton park something like that some strange park um, and it was literally and now i've ended up on this lane which is telling me i'm in style so uh yeah uh, just gonna see what's happening down here gonna browse the uh style village and see if i can um, come across anything of interest and yeah i hope you're all okay again guys um obviously i've been out now a couple of hours to got the leg working uh, pretty tired i'm gonna actually stop off soon and um hydrate and that and then um gonna start making my way back towards my ends now i don't know how i'm gonna get back to my ends from here but obviously we're stuck in the uh um, we're stuck in style village now as you can see it's literally just all overgrown it's all hills overgrown hills it's all overgrown hills and that and um apparently this is where the witches wizards and um all that all that mythical stuff goes on apparently in style uh, so this is what i'm hoping to catch soon hoping to see a bit of like stone stone work from back in the days and a bit of a you know a bit of a history behind style and um, because i've always known for it to be like witches wizards and uh, mythical things like that that looks like proper fairy tale like as it slopes up uh just watch this car again again look here it just looks it's just all woods it looks very fairy tale like um and that's pretty much what style was known for back in the day apparently it was known for um yeah you know, a lot of like witches wizards uh possibly a couple of castles maybe um yeah medieval medieval stuff as well might have been involved there guys um and that's over in style uh between old the edge and the airport again um uh, again obviously elderly edge was known for that too um which is why style was also known for it because they're not too far apart like location wise um i don't know what that is but that bridge there looks really interesting oh we have a uh we actually have a foot footpath public footpath here um with some steps um yeah so we'll, we'll probably go up here now and have a look just see what's happening get off the lane in it out the way of the traffic um really don't want to be uh, stuck up in the traffic now so we've got one of these uh wooden things again that you use the steps to get over and we've got to climb over this yep yeah. doesn't feel secure that but yeah we did it don't feel secure but we did it we got over it so yeah, I'm just going to go up this hill now guys. Yeah, um, I'm not sure again where this leads. I presume it's a train bridge. Because it's a train track. Yeah, train track bridge. Just got a little uh, two turns and zoom. Yep, you could just see that in the background there. Um, I actually don't know what all this is. It's hills, mate. Steep, steep hills and field. Um, probably a uh, great spot to see the plains, maybe. Possibly a good spot to see the plains. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm going to follow this up. Obviously, I don't know where it leads. I really don't know where I am. Um, I feel like I'm in style, obviously, because the sign, the sign says Style Village. But I don't know what part of style. 
because it's just a bit it is it's a big place it's just like this so in, in style it's just like this it's all fields and slopes and stuff and again the same at Oldley Edge it's uh it's all cliffs and stuff in it hence the name at the edge Oldley Edge meaning the edge but yeah I don't know whether people still use this place to like it's a footpath and stuff but yeah because that one there at the bottom was collapsed so I'm, I'm not too sure if it's still used um, I think right now I'm, at the, I'm actually at the back of the airport now if I'm in style yeah that's uh, that is at the back of the airport wow these these uh, footpaths again I really don't like them because of all the uh, brambles and those things but try and stomp your way through these yeah I see I'm seeing that like, now all I'm um, seeing here now it's just a big field and then obviously my path that I'm on which I don't know where it leads to but we're gonna keep going <coughs> keep going here and see where it leads to there's some sort of a bridge here yeah with, uh, with a panel missing that's dangerous that is dangerous Bro, that bridge feels loose. Bro, it really does. It feels loose. The wood, obviously, uh, corroding. Look. Whoa. That one there. Whoa. This is brutal. This is brutal. Look at that down there. Look at that, mate. That's pretty steep, man. That is steep. Whatever that bullshit is there, bro. Mmm. Sorry, I was lighting the cig again. But yeah. Um, I've just obviously, I'm trying to get back to a main road now, so till then I'm stuck in this place. I can hear the airport again, so I feel we are near the airport, you know. Uh, yeah, I can actually hear the planes coming, taxiing or they're starting up them, firing up the engines. But because it's been raining, um, you hear a bit more because they do that spray thing, don't they, on the um, on the runway. So because it's been raining, they'll obviously uh, do that spray thing, and that's why you can hear it more than um, on a normal day, clear day. This is madness. This is literally a fairy tale place, mate. This is a location, yeah. Where you could literally write a fairy tale now just standing in here, bro. Crazy, mate. Look at this. Mmm. I really don't know what this is in here. But yeah, oh, I've just got whipped. Yeah, you're about to in here, you're gonna get whipped with all sorts. There's brambles, um, nettles, twigs. Even steepness like that, mate. Obviously, keep following this path, yeah. See where we end up. Yeah, but, um, this is a bit of a tight squeeze now because I'm gonna get whipped on these nettles. Gonna get nipped. Lip, 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 lip. Do you know what? I don't even think this is an accessible path no more. But I've took this. I've just took this path anyway, even if it's not accessible. Um. So that means I'm probably the only one currently walking down this path. Um, I don't think anyone's walking behind. Excuse me, I've got a bit of heartburn. Um, yeah, so I don't think anyone's walking behind. But uh, I'm going to try and get through here now. I've got to try and hold my phone steady. Um, ah, that whips, that whips. Bro, they actually do whip your legs. And it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, uh, so I don't know why I'm in here now. I don't know what made me come through here, but I just thought I'd take a shortcut, yo. Um, and obviously, normally, when I do get lost, I always end up finding my way back in the end. It takes a while, but 
I will end up finding my way back in the end. Um, there's another field, look, it's just fields. A few buildings in the back there. Maybe get time to zoom. There you go, guys. And we don't know where we are. Still near the airport. Still near the airport because of the whole... That plane there coming over. I don't know whether that's taxiing down the runway or whether it's already took off and it's flying over at a few feet. Either way, I hope I am near the airport. Because if I'm not, I've got a long walk back towards the airport. So if I'm on the other side now of style slash old edge, um, yeah, I've got a bit of a walk to get back to the airport from where I'm at now, if I'm in style still, or wherever I'm at towards old edge style. Between old edge and style, I think. You can just tell by all the greenery in the field. Look, there's a lot of fields. More than a lot of fields, there's like loads and loads of fields. And obviously I'm just walking through all these nettles like nothing, man. Can't feel it now, but later on. I'll feel it later on when it starts stinging. Like the other day, yeah, and did, I did some footage the other day and uh, went over that land. Ended up through uh, brambles, nettles. Yeah, this is getting tighter and tighter, this footpath here. This is getting a tight squeeze. This is what I'm saying, I don't think you're supposed to access this no more. You might have been able to a while back, but it's just the way that it's so tight. It's just the way that it seems like there's no footpath. You've got this little bridge that doesn't feel safe one bit. And it smells like sewage, mate. It stinks. It stinks, mate. It smells like fully raw sewage. Fully raw sewage, man. Obviously, yo. I think we've got to go over here now, yeah. We have to go over here. Another one of them step through things, like you could walk around. Across here. Across here. I don't know where I'm at. Um, I'm on this random field now, so while what I'm doing is, I'm gonna just keep walking this random field. There's houses in sight, so I presume I'm near a main road. I can't even hear the airport properly now, so I'm probably nowhere near the airport. I can hear a motorway, that's about it, guys. Yeah. Oh, I could hear an air, I could hear an airplane starting its engine near the airport, yo. I think we're at the back of the airport somewhere. Uh, style Woods, maybe, Style. Because, uh, like, I just come out of Hanforth, like I say, I just come from Hanforth. So, yeah, I might be in Style now, which is at the back of the airport. Um, I don't know what these houses are, private house, maybe, big private house. They're posh down here, though, the houses. I mean, they've just been on that um, style village lane, whatever that was called. And uh, yeah, some really, but there's mansions, mate, and some really nice houses down there. There's mansions and all that, mate. It's big, big mansion, big massive mansions. Let's go through this gate. Uh, let's go through this gate. There we go. And I don't know where this leads to. But yeah, they've just gone through that gate anyway. It says we're in uh, Borough, Borough of Macclesfield, Cheshire East Council. Borough of Macclesfield, um, Ch yeah, Cheshire East Council. Um, and I only know that because I've just gone past the house and it says it on someone's bin. Yeah, it says it on a bin there. Yeah, we're going past the train tracks. Uh, I presume they go towards the edge. From uh, Stockport towards the edge or something. Or is it, um, again, you could probably get them to get the train to Hanforth, maybe. But another 
random footbridge. Another random footbridge, guys. Hey, no graffiti, no graffiti, that's a surprise. No, look, no graffiti might have been because it looks like it's been painted over and covered up. That there was graffiti, actually, look. Right, you can just see it now where they've covered it up. Um, seems a child area up to now, wherever they am. I've just come out of the uh, the lane there, and I've now been brought onto this big football field with uh, giant Astros, Astros and um, and uh, yeah, Astros and uh, football field, which I'm not going to obviously go too close across. Um, because it's obviously the little ones are obviously playing football here, guys. Um, MGS, 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 something. Right, so, so I've come across some uh, football pitches, football field, Astros, um, MGS. MGS something and um, I don't know where I'm at oh Wilmslow Phoenix Sports Club Wilmslow Wilmslow Sports Club guys so um yeah there's your Astros there's your giant Astros and that yeah Wilmslow Sports Club um so I must have obviously walked through Hamforth and cut, cut through to Wilmslow but look we got obviously I'll get a distance here of the uh, football yep there we go we got a long distance shot but um yeah just uh, a bit of action over there there's a guy that looks like he's cutting the grass cutting the uh, football pitch nice and short um other than that i don't know where else to go from here because i'm at wilmslow sports club which i've never even been to first time here mate and it looks all right I don't know who trains here, but it's some sort of training ground for one of the local football clubs. Maybe Wilmslow Football Club, Wilmslow Town. Maybe they, maybe they train here or something. Um, other than that, I don't know where this needs to. So we're going to go out here again. Look, we've got another big football field at the at the back. Oh yeah, it's telling us to go this way. It's telling me to go this way. But why? It's telling me to go that way, but why is it telling me to go that way when that don't lead anywhere? Unless you cut across the sport field there, I don't know. Yeah, look, Wil Wilmslow Albion Football Club. Uh, there you are. So there's it logo, guys. I presume they sell bevies, I presume they sell beer, because they got kegs. So I'm presuming that they do uh, sell beer in there. Uh, this this Emmanuel, Emos, uh, South Mike. These guys, yo, these guys are based in Wivenshaw, guys. We could just get the logo. There you go. They're based up on their Brownie Road in Wivenshaw. Uh, it's a charity. You can get a food parcels if you stop for food. Uh, they sell reused furniture. Uh, basically, it's a, a reuse furniture reuse centre, but they've got a cafe in there or whatever. They've got a food bank. Uh, it's where you go for support if you're struggling financially or whatever and you need food bank or in general, you know, with the cost of living crisis that we're in. It's good to know that they do them sort of things and it's based on Brownlee Road in Withenshaw and it's the, um, I, can't spell, I can't say its name, um, but it's the one that I've just caught there. So if you pause at the right moment, guys, uh, yeah, you'll see the logo. There's a phone number on the back. I've just captured the phone number there too. So just give them guys a call, yo, um, if you're ever stuck for things financially or whatever and it's um then again no judgment they don't judge um obviously there's this place here so yeah i was right about it having brewery because like it's got hides the manchester brewer uh, they serve beverages here because obviously when you're watching a the football there we go phoenix sports club lindo cricket club etc etc um don't know what's down that way but something tells me to go this way because uh, where I was wanting to head to, style, um, I'm actually here now at style. Guys, I'm at Quarry Bank in style. Yes, mate. 
Um, they do the Halloween event here, look, you see here at Quarry Bank, they do the Halloween trail. Uh, the where people obviously uh, spook you and that. Here we go, trail of spooky fun. So if you guys want to pause at any moment, yeah, you see anything of interest, then yeah. There you go, sponsored by Starling Bank. Summer to play at Quarry Bank. So yeah, there's Quarry Bank, guys. There's Quarry Bank, yo. There you go. But we're at it. I had to fail that a few minutes, a few seconds. Yeah, we're at Quarry Bank now anyway, so we're at Style. It's just straight down this lane now. And uh, the mill will be obviously the Quarry Bank mill will still be going and whatever. Um, and then uh, whatever else is popping off down here. So we'll have a little look now, go in and I'll have a little look, uh, see what's happening. Um, and then I'm going to start making my way back to the airport. Which I presume isn't far for me. Um, it shouldn't be too far. To get a little over the uh, bush, over the bush footage, guys. In case you want to see that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head back towards the airport, but we're gonna go through style. Um, cut through style for quickness, and that'll be uh, very soon. I'm gonna cut up here now, guys, and I'll I'll, um, I'll check you in the next spot, yo, because it's a bit of a walk down this lane, as you can see. Yep. So. I shall see you at the next location, yo. Thanks for watching, guys. Check you all soon.